here we are, uh, part eight. And we've got to this period here where I was in Thailand and I was doing my best in Thailand to stop the weight going up. So, I mean, it was quite entertaining in its, in its own way. Uh, the first thing was I was playing a lot of tennis. I really wanted to keep that weight off. So I'm looking pretty fit there, not as fat as I can get to. You know, you can still see my facial stuff. And I'm loving tennis, it was actually really good fun. So all of this stuff had started to work after a while, to a degree. And then I'm in Thailand and what I'm doing, this is not a binge. What I was using, I was using EFT and tapping to undo all of these addictions. So I would buy all this junk food and I would sit there and I'd just tap away, tap away for, for hours. And look, as I said, I'm not as fat as I had been. I, was re I recorded it all. Let's get to a bit where you can just see me tapping. It's not that, there we go. other people like me not want to eat this food, not have to eat this food. I want to be able to understand yeah. and benefit So all this stuff food. worked, but my problem was I wasn't applying it enough. It was weak application, so um, you know it was going well in Thailand. But then what happened is I broke my arm. That's me lying in bed well, with a broken um, arm. Welcome, and I got down to about two, look, two hundred, I think. Yeah, about two hundred, two hundred and ten. And again, I came out, and six months later, we're all back on again. So what I did when I left the second time. Um, I've t all this body of knowledge that I've been accumulating over the years about what addiction is, and what's the cause behind it, what are the symptoms, why do people do it, how have people found success, all of this knowledge I've been ac accumulating is vast. Yet when I applied it to myself, it wouldn't work. It actually would not work. And that was what was going on. I'd learn all this information, I'd apply it to myself, but nothing would stop me binge eating. I'll just have a quick listen to see what else he says here, because I'm quite curious. And it and, and only not wouldn't work, I would go to opposite. So my latest effort was to come to Thailand. I figured I'm coming out of Humanity, which is a wonderful place, and that's why I did this uh, this big detox, the three hundred pounds down to two twenty. And if I came to Thailand, I figured I've got all that training behind me, I'm already fit, I already look great, I feel great, so those problems aren't there. Like, all I had to do was maintain it. That's all I had to do was maintain it. Um, I'm in a country where there's an abundance of healthy, raw living food. I'm living next to a raw food restaurant, which is very cheap, it's like around the corner. I have an abundance of opportunities to go walking, training, hiking, I've got a bicycle outside, and there's a kickboxing school around the corner, there's two yoga places here. I mean, and, I, and it's always sunny, right? So <laughs> it's hard not to succeed in a weight loss and dietary and fitness transformation in an environment where I'm so supported. And I come here and, and, and I am, I'm supported. And what happens is no matter how supported I am, I find ways to undermine it. That's basically it. I, I, I had a personal trainer as well, and he couldn't believe that every week I was like five kilos heavier. And he, he was training me so hard, he goes, he's like, bro, I've never seen anything like it. So the end result was, ta-da, I got back to that. That's basically what happened. I put all the weight back on. Um, but that was actually taken before I broke my arm, because my arms are working there. So look here, I then went back to England and I moved to Brighton. So, so we're, going on a we're now into this period here where I've come back to England and we're on that steep slope there, a couple of years that is. So look, I met these really cool guys who lived in Brighton. They owned a raw food restaurant and a few people lived upstairs and I thought that's a good idea. If I live above a raw food restaurant, I'm never going to eat junk food because I'd have to leave the restaurant to get the food. I'm going for spring water. I'm Joe. I'm Elwin. That's Elwin, he's a really good 
Tennis. He's a really good health coach. That's the restaurant. We lived up in, it's a big, it's bigger than it looks, up there, very wide, and there's lots of rooms up there. We all lived in. That's a raw food restaurant. I had to come out of a raw food restaurant to get any other food. Of Brighton, also known as Man of Vitality. So we'll check back with you when we get to the spring. Yeah, so there you go. That was me in, in Brighton. But one of the things that I would say, and this is no um, knock. Let's see what this is. Okay. There's no knock on this person here. She's a lovely woman. Oh, by that, by that time I, I'd started my brand because I was really confident I was close to success. But uh, I, didn't, I didn't publish it. You, you might notice some of the sounds are the same. I changed the name as well. But now this is a lovely woman. Oh yeah, hallelujah. Hi, I'm Karenza. Karenza. Welcome to Definite Desserts. Today we're going to make a chocolate cake. And we don't have to make it with sugar sheets. I need to wear a potato sheet. Because it's not. I'm going to dancing. Okay. I just wanted to show you. It's a, high, it's, a high, it's a nut cake. All nuts. So I still hadn't really got on onto the you know the high carb lifestyle but I, but that's what I did there that's what I was trying out and I appreciate all the help and support I got and then I thought you know what I'm going to get my own house so that I can have somewhere to make raw food make nice food so I moved to I don't see, to see it for where I'm headed I'm not going on the seafront still and I find that quite tiring I mean, I'm not that fit, and also at about 20 something stone, 23. This is my fattest point now. I'm here on the chart, I'm there, and I moved to Seaford, and uh, don't make me over 145 kilos, probably 360 pounds or something. I'm not very thin either. <laughs> But it doesn't mean <laughs> that I, uh, I'm not determined because <laughs> I, I said you can say that again, bruh. Away, and in the past I would have just said, "Oh, it's not." Enough. I won't go for all of these, but I've got a couple of hundred videos of me going on walks before breakfast. That would be ages for that, and I did that every day. Good I just walked up and down the beach every day, about ten and miles. Some people it kicks in and at the time, what I was eating, but. Bolognese with courgette spaghetti, low carb, and a tomato sauce. This is going to be so good. Even if I say so. And I was so convinced that the low carb way was to go. I was so convinced. Got my mum involved. It's like the best spaghetti ever. I mean, they, they, these courgettes, they actually do taste like spaghetti. My lovely mum. They really do. Oh, without, without, without all the you know, problems with... Yeah. Okay, Look at that, that is just such a good meal. I've got to say, I think this is the best one yet. So that's what I was doing. I was doing low carb, high fat, Atkins <sighs> style diet. So I basically gave up on more, but look. <sighs> so this is the post binge self. Before the binge, you can't see any clarity. You just want it. You just want to eat the food. You just want it. So there's me binging, as, as always. I lost all of this weight. We can now go into actual daily data. So here's why I started in Seaford, and I did all of this. Boom, 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 boom. Got all, just got, just getting all my weight down and it was it was going fantastic i thought i'd found the answer i knew the atkins diet uh forget raw i tried to make it as raw as i could but ever obviously the meat and all that is cooked but i was at a loss now i was like well i'm just going to try i'm not just going to try something because i've seen nothing else has worked um and then and then i it did work i lost some weight but then i moved to london i've been you know keeps the juice in very you know, keeps the juice in very good condition. And I was on a uh, upright, which means green it's juice, clean. low it's carb diet. Um, and I started a war against sugar. 
These videos are crap. So this is me beating diabetes using the Atkin yeah, system. About six, 600 MGDL. And green juice. So I can't green show you all, but I'll start off so there we go. Using my meter. It going around and it's coming back at. You can't really read. Okay, it's 19, so it's starting to get very high. 7.8. 7.8. Um, I drank a load of green juice before I went to bed and sat there. Yeah. So I'm basically doing, lo doing low. Uh, Five of these a day. Yeah. Uh, cucumber, celery. I'm doing green juicing and a little bit of cooked low carb food. Blood sugars were coming down and I thought I was on to a winner. Um, there's a, a weight loss method. There's more of that and I was getting quite excited now. I'm like, wow, you know, it was never raw food all along. Blood sugar swings when your blood sugar goes up and blood sugar crashes. And I became anti-sugar. going to uh, promote candida and all the symptoms associated with that, which are many, 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 many symptoms. Yeah, many. so I was convinced now that sugar was as bad as people had said. So I'd gotten off it completely. For one, it's, ref it's refined from a plant. It's a white powder. Now, what other white powders? Do you know that are widely circulated in society that cause There you go, and I believed it. And all what happened was um, at some point I cracked. Boom. That's when I first moved back to London. So I got it a bit wrong. That's when I first moved back to London, and all of that was here. This slope where I'm using more sugar. So but you could see that. Boom moved to London, because once I got to London, all my binge eating started. And all what I'd done here as a low carb, uh, high fat person was undone. And I tried it again using sugar, getting off sugar and I got into green juicing. So I was doing juicings and low carb food and I got my weight down again a bit. Quite very volatile though. Um, and at that point, um, the next stage happened. And the next stage is quite exciting and quite revealing. So I hope you stick around to watch that. It's going to be pretty fascinating. Mm -hmm.